Well, I'm going to re-wax my chain. So I've, I've, I've just put the, the pot of wax on to heat up. And it's going to take a good half an hour, 35 minutes to heat that wax up. Uh, now it's cost me 15 pounds for this little tiny uh, slow cooker. I put my hand there for, for size comparison. It's not very big. And uh, the wax cost me cost me about a fiver for half a half a kilo of wax and it's cost me 10 pounds for 50 grams of PTFE powder uh, so while this is heating up I'm going to get the bike stand out the shed and uh, give the chain a quick scrub with a with a stiff brush right that's the bike in the stand and uh, you can let me uh, find a dusty part for you. I think you'll find it there. This is this is after I cleaned the bike last week. And I've done 25 miles yesterday on the bike. Uh, that's not too bad, but I'll try and get a close up. You can see the dirt. There. Do a quick. Yeah, so that's that's the dust after 25 miles. But this chain's done 75 miles without re-waxing. So what I've got here is a stiff brush. And uh, I'm going to give it a good scrubbing with that to knock any of the, any of the dirt off. Just I'll just run my finger under there. Yeah, so that's 75 miles worth of dust and dirt. So... So I think I definitely will give it another another waxing. So what, what I'll do is I'll give it a good scrub and uh, then I'll take the chain off. Okay, I've brushed the chain and uh, I've now got it ready to take the link off. I've, um, I've taken, the, taken the clutch off. I'll put it in the lowest gear. So that should be the highest, the hardest gear to pedal and the lowest gear to pedal at the front. It gives me plenty of slack in the chain, which allows me to put my pliers on and pop that quick link off and take the, take the chain off. Sorry, I got the hiccups. And take the chain off, of course. Uh, the wax is still melting, so we're not quite there. Just uh, a quick thought. While I'm at it, I've just put the chain checker on. I don't know if you can... Uh, It'll focus properly, but there you go. That's under 0.25 percent, so that's still a, a new chain after 200 miles. There's uh, zero stretch on this chain. I'm quite impressed so far. Right. All right, there we go. That's a chain on a piece of wire, piece of cable wire, uh, ready to go into the wax. But the wax isn't uh, isn't melted yet. So while that's happening. I'll get on and wash my bike down. Won't take five minutes. Right, so here it goes. That's that's the wax melted. I've turned the heat to to low, and I'm going to put my chain inside. That's the PTFE powder being stirred up. Now I'm going to turn the heat off. There should be enough residual heat in there to warm up the chain fully and allow the wax inside the chain to melt and new wax to, to kind of move around in there. What I, um, I shall take this out when it starts to form a skin. So it'll take a while to cool down as it started raining I don't think it will take long to cool down at all I don't know if you can see but the spit sorry if I hold it properly you'll be able to see I've actually put the split links on as well on the 
there they are. There's the split links. Right. Stir that around and just leave that now for a, a good 15 20 minutes until the, it starts to form a, a seal. Sorry, this is what am I talking about? Forms a skin on top, and then I shall pull it out and hang it somewhere to cool properly. I've just given it another stir and it's cooled down quite significantly now. So it's beginning to form a skin. We'll get a close up. See how it's just starting to form a skin on the surface. I'm going to go and put this on the bike. I have to put the phone down. Because I can, uh, can't do it one-handed. Oh, I've got it hanging to dry. I've actually uh, just hooked it onto the bike. I oh, know the cable's a bit long. But there we go. I shall let that to cool down. And then I'll fit it back on the bike. Okay, a few minutes have elapsed. And the chain is nice and cold. So I'm just going to uh, fit that back to the bike. It's a bit stiff, so it will need folding about a bit. But I'll stick that back on. Oh, that was lucky. Didn't go on the ground. i get it to focus. Time for the clutch to go back on. Change her up a few gears. Change the uh, front back to the next gear up. Right, that's me ready. I'm ready to go again. This will brush off that all the new stuff will brush off. Oh, sorry, finger was in the way. Let's get a little brush in there in a minute, there's a brush off the excess. Just make sure the uh, the jockey wheels are in the right place. Oh yes. Yes, the jockey wheels are all back in the in the right section. The chains chains gone through correctly. Yep, job done. Doesn't take long. It takes a lot of waiting for the uh, for the wax to heat up and then the wax to cool down. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a very friction free system. We're having a wax chain. Uh, I really can't see a downside to it. Just maybe taking a couple of hours to do it in total, but you know, having a cup of tea in between each stage. Yep. So that's that's a wax chain back on the bike. All the loose bits will just come off. As I say, it's a couple of maybe 15 minutes riding, and it's all it's all back to normal. Right, job done.